morning, welcome to another vlog. I just finished filming my foundation declutter video. It's frightening, but I have an empty drawer. I hope that uh, I will link it. it. I still have quite a bit left, don't worry. Um, and I'm planning on adding more to my collection soon. Heading out to the grocery store. Weather is in the 60s, I think. So pulled out my old denim jacket and because it's always cold in our grocery store. Is anyone else's grocery store freezing? Mine is, but I'm keeping it cash. This is one of those Gibson fleece tops that I love. And then these are velvet joggers that might not still be available at Nordstrom, but I think there's a pair at Target that are really similar. And then how sick are you of seeing these booties? I love them. All right, I'm hitting the grocery store because I'm got i making beef stew tonight and I gotta get that in the, uh, help me, slow cooker. Be right back. I have had quite a few requests to do a grocery haul. So, and incorporate it into the vlog. I'm gonna give this a shot. Let me know if you want this to be a separate video in and of itself, a standalone grocery haul, or if it's fine to keep it here. Let's see how it goes. I'm going fast because I have a lot of refrigerated and frozen things and I need to get them put up and I need to get started on dinner because it takes three hours to cook. Okay, um, I just got a giant thing of chicken breasts because I'll show you in a minute why. Um, it's for Shane's lunch. So actually, as soon as I stop, after I put all this away, I'm just gonna bake them real, fit, like season them with maybe some Italian dressing or something, and salt, pepper, and just bake them and then chop them up and put them in individual baggies um, for Shane's lunch, freeze a lot of it. I'll show you why. Later, <clears throat> for my gluten-free friends, there's a lot in here. These are the best bagel chips. I love them just with cream cheese as a snack. I love them crumpled up into soup. They're very tasty. Michael prefers the crackers, so there you go. Shane picked this out on a grocery trip last week and loves these, and you just microwave them. And they're not healthy, but they're for Shane, and he can eat whatever he wants because he is so skinny. It's like he has a tapeworm. Okay, gluten-free, not awful flavored. So if you're looking for a Dorito Cool Ranch option that isn't disgusting and full of chemicals, this is the brand, the Pocky brand. Shane and all of his friends are now totally addicted to these. They also come in like the normal cheese Dorito flavor and a ghost pepper version, which is impossible to eat. They bought it last week and Shane and his friends almost died. Okay, these are two frozen pie shells from the brand Holy Gluten Free. Really, that's the brand? Yep, by Holy Wholesome. I'm gonna make quiche. I'm gonna try to make a quiche this week for dinner, so that's that. This is really just for me and Michael. He likes the chicken breast, and we both like the turkey. It's a good lunch, so. These are the tortilla chips of choice because, why? Why, because here. Now, aren't they all corn tortilla chips gluten-free? I think so, but nobody wants to risk it. Okay, so for lunch, Shane loves these. This is the H-E-B brand. If you don't live in Texas, I'm sorry, but check your own grocery store. Four minutes in the microwave, steamed in the bag. I add a little soy sauce and I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped cooked chicken. Put that in a container and Shane can reheat that um, at school. They have microwaves in their cafeteria. So about a bunch of those. This is for me. I know I'm really cutting back on the gluten, but every once in a while, I, lo I love it. And I, I microwave it and I add balsamic vinegar afterwards and chopped potato, petite tomatoes. So good, so fattening, so what. This is for the quiche. Um, okay, these cookies are the best cookies, gluten-free or non-gluten-free. They're just addictive and wonderful. And I could justify eating half a package and it's sitting because they're gluten-free, haha. <laughs> no, they're really good. Glutino. We used to get the Oreo version, like the chocolate and then the cream, but oh, so good. This is for tacos. I have a hungry teenager, he eats a lot. Um, stew meat for tonight. Moving over here, um, I'm going to use this with this to attempt to make biscuits. I also use this for Shane's pancakes. Um, salsa verde, blueberries. Shane used to live on ramen noodles. He loved them and he misses them because they're all wheat based. And I found these and they are non, they are gluten free. Look at that, it says so right on the top. Right there. So we'll see if he likes those. Um, Shane likes this tea. Everything is about Shane. Like, God, we live our lives around that kid. Uh, he requested that I pick some more of this up because he's so used to going to sleep late and sleeping in from break. He's hoping that this will help him fall asleep. I have a feeling since he got up at O Dark 100, he'll have no problem falling asleep tonight, but we'll see. 
These are awesome. These are really good. Highly recommend these. The Lazy Woman's Salad. This is potential banana bread happening here. I'm sorry, I love my almond milk in my oatmeal, but I cannot drink it straight, and I miss milk, like real live milk. So that, cuties, little baby golden potatoes for the stew, shredded lettuce for, I don't know, we just tacos and what have you. This is what Michael prefers for eggs, whatevs. This is our creamer of choice, the sugar-free version, love it. It's what I drink every day. This makes me happy. This is the most lemony, fresh scent. I just, it makes me look forward to washing dishes, seriously. You're not environmentally friendly people. This is for Shane's lunch. I mean, seriously, I wouldn't mind putting in normal forks and hoping that he brings them back, but you, you know, teenagers, you're not gonna see your silverware again. So this is easier. Garbage bags. Michael loves this turkey sausage, chops it up, puts it in eggs. It's disgusting. I mean, it's not disgusting. We've eaten this for dinner, but ugh, for breakfast, no. And then this came free with it, which I'm gonna use and put in the quiche. And this is the cheese we get. That's not actually cheese. It's, I don't know what it is. We're not gonna examine it. We're just gonna eat it. No lactose, no gluten, whatever. Maybe there is some cheese. Uh, you know what, we're not gonna, it's, don't ask, don't tell. And then these are the chicken patties that um, Shane really, really likes. Again, gluten-free, and I can make these for him for lunch, too. It's from Golden Platter, all natural. That's it. We still have a lot of stuff in like the freezer that we need to use up and stuff we already have. So that whole thing before coupons was $1.94. And then, um, oh, no, because I also got some um, workout pre-workout powder that Shane wanted to try that is Dr. Okade. So this was like 20 bucks right there. So that bumped it up. So um, anyway, all that was like 180 after coupons, if you're interested. Food is cheap down here. So that's it. I'm gonna put it all away and get to cooking. It's Tuesday and it is an at-home day. We, it's not a sexy purchase, but it's something needs to be done. We are getting a new HVAC unit installed today. Well, actually it's just about done. They're just cleaning up. And uh, so couldn't leave the house all day. So I didn't really, I mean, I washed my face. I put on some Mac Prep and Prime and a little bit of one of the Chanel cream shadows just and some ma mascara, basically. Teeny bit of concealer. Kind of a makeup, no makeup day. Ooh, it's too hot. Anyway, so I've been just sitting in front of the computer for a very long time. My back is killing me. So I got up, I made a banana bread. That is cooking. And now I'm prepping for dinner. I'll include the recipe if it tastes good. If not, there will not be a recipe. It's going to be a bacon, faux cheddar cheese, broccoli, onion quiche with gluten-free crust. Yep, so I'm doing the bacon, that's turkey bacon. I've already done the onions. I'm defrosting my steamable broccoli florets. I'm just not gonna steam them. Chop those up and um, the recipe is like, it cooks really fast and then I have a Caesar salad, and um, I do have like one of those gluten-free baguettes I could make. So I just thought I'd show you, I'm throwing this quiche together. So I did the broccoli and sauteed onions ahead of time. Not the broccoli, the bacon. And I've just combined all of the filler in here. It's probably too much filler. Not sure what I'm gonna do with the extra. Maybe I'll freeze, I don't know. Let's not think ahead. So it's just chopped up uh, broccoli, baked turkey bacon, sauteed onions, um, and then faux cheese, this is my faux cheese, and the label's off, but that's faux parmesan cheese, and you're supposed to put that in there and then mix four eggs, and in my case, almond milk, unsweetened, unflavored, and then bake it. So, hopefully it's edible, fingers crossed. All right, so actually, it was delicious, but nobody was nearly as hungry as we had hoped, so I did make the two. This was the one we ate, clearly. So this one's gonna get refrigerated. You can refrigerate it for up to three days. I'm sure Michael and I will polish it off over the next couple of days. This one, I googled. I'm going to wrap it in aluminum foil and then put it in a freezer bag, and I can freeze it, and then just kind of rebake it, basically, when I'm ready. We are back at school, and it took me two days, but it's hit me, so now I'm, mommy's tired. So I'm gonna go wash my face, freeze my quiche, call it a night. Tomorrow I get my hair done though. So these roots, this is my natural hair color. This is what it would look like. 
Oh my god. I haven't seen my actual natural hair color in a really long time. Anyway, tomorrow I'll be back and I'll be blonde. Just got my hair done. And I'm up at school. I'm having my annual it's called a 504 meeting where I meet with the school to make sure that they have accommodations in place for Shane's medical issues. And for those of you who are parents and didn't know you could do this, I didn't know either until you guys told me. It's not just for learning disabilities or other kinds of issues that if you're taught as a chronic illness or even a illness that's going on for a while or condition, you can, by federal law, meet with your school and ask for accommodations to be put in place. So, do your annual review. Nothing to complain about. It's all good. I am sitting here pretty early in the morning and just filmed this. This is what I see when I'm filming. So, I have set up all my stuff and here's my mirror and I can hook up, let me get this out of the way. I can hook up, I don't know if anybody cares, but I can hook up with a cord that I ordered, a USB type cord, hook up my camera directly to my computer and I can work on focus from here and color correcting, which I never do, but I should. I can check the volume. See, I'm still hooked up. No, actually I'm not. And then this is my lavalier mic. God, the clouds just, it was so sunny just five minutes ago. This is my lavalier mic, which you always see on me. Um, and that is connected also to my camera. Hello, camera. Um, yep, yeah, so that's how the magic happens and how the sound happens. And then I have my BP twist tie knotted t-shirt. Um, I love these, I will be buying it. If they come out with more, I'll buy more. And um, a hooded Cardi, and then uh, my pajama bottoms. And slipper. Gotta go, gotta go get the second half on so I can go to my meeting. So I will see you in a little bit. I'm good having breakfast with my friend Ari um, at my favorite chilaquiles place. Yum! I'm a member of the Clean Plate Club. Um, yeah, I just demolished an entire plate. I like inhaled it. I don't even know if I tasted it. It's bad. I'm not eating lunch today. This is gonna carry me through till dinner. Good. That means so, so good. good. I'm here with my friend Ari. I very, very long. Me or you? I know. Yeah, so we can both be in the right. I know. Really it was so good. And now we're just talking about how much stuff we buy that, like, maybe is a little makes that something that we shouldn't be buying. Well, no, we should buy it. But just, like, because of what we do, we have to keep buying it. It is an investment. I mean, what we do, we have to, you have to invest in it. So that's what we keep telling ourselves. But anyway, I am now on my way to Nordstrom to buy more stuff. <laughs> but it's for a video. So. Good morning. I did a rookie YouTube mistake. I filmed a whole video kind of reviewing and demoing the new Urban Decay Kristen Leanne collection, um, which I think will have already gone up by the time you see this. If it hasn't, I'll insert it once it is. Filmed the whole thing and then didn't film an intro because a lot of times if I'm doing a get ready with me look, I'll film the intro and the outro at the end when I have a whole face of makeup instead of being, you know, naked so to speak. Um, but just spoiler alert if you haven't already seen it, it ended in such a disaster, look number two. <laughs> Uh, that I guess I got a little distracted. I just have lip liner on. I haven't put on my lipstick yet. Anyway, so I put, I was gonna wear one of the palettes again anyway, so I redid today's the next day. I don't know what, I'm just rambling. This is the rambling vlog. And um, I'm gonna refilm, I'm gonna film, not refilm, because I never filmed it, the intro. Um, and I really like how this turned out. I just, instead of winging it, so to speak, I followed a tutorial on Urban Decay's YouTube channel on how to use one of the palettes. Actually, it's two of the palettes, and I really like it. So anyway, I just, oh, there was a reason I hopped on, not to explain my makeup look, but <laughs> I just called Jake, he's up at Oxford, Mississippi, not England, and um, woke him up at 9.30 in the morning to tell him to wake up and look outside his window because it snowed overnight in Oxford, and he's never seen other than on top of a glacier, and on top of a mountain, when we went up to the top of a mountain in Palm Springs for one day, he's never really seen snow because he wasn't here when it snowed in San Antonio. So I'm like, get up, go play in it. And he goes, but it's cold. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Spoken like a true Texan. Why would you go outside if it's cold? Anyway, it's like 20 there. So in our world, chilly. All right, I'm going to actually put on some clothes, film the intro. I'm actually have my jeans on, everything. I just don't have the sweater I want to put on. And then I'm going to go have lunch with a really, a friend that I've had for a long time. I don't want to call her an old friend because that sounds like we're old. We are old. But um, Shane and her third son 
are the same age and they were in a play group starting when they were just barely one and they've still been friends all these years. So it's kind of fun to catch up with her. You would think we are going to the frozen tundra. I'm coming. We're taking the dogs to the dog park and I have like six layers on. This is a really old um, faux fur lined, like the whole body is faux fur lined from I think French Connection. Let's go to the dog park. And uh, gloves, North Face fleece, Target sweater, t-shirt under that, old, I think it's from Target, beanie. I like this little thing. This even has a hood. And uh, I get to wear my duck boots again. Anyway, I'm ready for the frozen tundra or the dog park, however you like to define it. I'm also giving this foundation a run for its money, so it's the new physician's formula. So uh, that may be in a video you've already seen. Let's hope it works out. It's always good to have a positive ending. All right, ladies, let's go. All right, exciting Saturday. Um, I just wrapped up a video I just did about this going on here. Um, never took my head off because it's cold. Anyway, I just finished three rounds of Mexican Train, uh, Michael and me and Shane and his girlfriend, and I won two out of three games. Yes, I am the Mexican Train champion. I've kind of figured it, I'm getting it, the hang of it. It's like the third or fourth time I've played. I highly recommend it. I'm actually about to text my girlfriends to do a girls' night, come over here and play uh, a Saturday later this month. So maybe we'll get to vlog that. Anyway, I'm calling it a night. I want to wash this stuff off and testing all new makeup and my face is getting a little dry and crusty no not crusty but definitely dry and it's a wash your hair night it's my exciting saturday night well it's almost nine o'clock so it's not so bad and i'm gonna call it a night and then i will see you guys tomorrow so just snap your fingers and it'll be sunday i did a little art project last night i showed it on instagram and i've had this chalkboard forever and i did a little chalkboard art now i'm not a natural artist Nope, but um, I will tell you how I did it. For those of you that are challenged artistically, I'm not saying like that's the best chalkboard art in the world, but for me, I'm very proud of myself. So what I did was utilize what I am good at, but first let me change my camera battery. First, I went on Pinterest and I looked at chalkboard art and then I saw recommended was best wedding chalkboard art, which I thought that's a good idea because they're names and I knew I wanted like a Goldberg or G or something like that. So I found something I liked, and then I started research, but it didn't tell me like what fonts they used. So then I Googled best free monogram fonts and best free handwriting fonts, and I will put in the description box the font I used for the G and the font I used for Goldberg, because I can't remember, it's like use, I don't even know, I'm not even gonna attempt. So I downloaded those, and then I went on to Pick Monkey, which is what the, um, program I use to make my thumbnails and do any kind of like picture, I don't want to say picture editing, but anything with like graphics and clip art and things like that. And they have like a ton of, not well they have a ton of free stuff, I pay the $5 a month upgrade. Um, so I made this and I, fig I measured the size of the chalkboard so I knew how big I needed to be and this, this wreath thing that goes around the edge, that's a free not free, but that's like a thing they already have. So I put that on there and then I put the G on and I put the Goldberg on and then I printed it out, cut it out. So it's the size of my area. Then I went to Hobby Lobby, actually before that I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought this graphite paper, which you can't see, but it is like carbon paper, but instead of being black, cause if you trace something black onto black cardboard, chalkboard, you can't see it. I got white carbon paper basically. So all you do, you take your, what you want to trace and you put the carb, the paper under it and you know, you put this on top and then you put that on the chalkboard basically. And then I used a dull colored pencil and traced firmly over the whole design onto the chalkboard. And when I lifted it up, the design was traced onto here. And then I went over it with my chalkboard marker which is a little um, brighter than just basic chalk and much easier to manipulate than a piece of chalk and there's no dust. That's my chalkboard art. I feel like going out and like doing chalkboard art all over my house, but I'm not gonna do that. 
So anyway, today is a pretty chill day. I'm gonna edit a bunch of videos, and then tonight we're going to a progressive dinner where you go to one house for appetizers, one house for the main course, and then one house for dessert, and I am on the appetizer committee, so um, I'll show you what I'm making later, but let's get on with the day, and I'll see you when I'm dressed and cooking the appetizers. I'm just prepping my phyllo shells, and Shane came in. He's heading out for a three, a joint. Is it a joint three-person? Mm -hmm. 17 year old birthday party one of whom is his lovely girlfriend and two of her friends and can we do an OOTD? Sure. <laughs> Shoes or vans? Yeah. Jeans? American Eagle. Shirt? The Target? American Eagle. American Eagle. Blazer? Express. Express. Hair. How do you get your hair to do that? You just wake up like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, you look very nice. And your new phone case, let me see. Is that new? Oh, very nice. Amazon? Mm -hmm. Very nice. So the plan is go to one of the girls' houses for dinner and then a party bus? Yeah. Or you just wander around? Yeah. Sounds fun. Oh, and the bracelet. Let's see the bracelet. That was your Hanukkah present uh -huh. from Brooke. Very nice. Very handsome. I like it. All right, we'll have fun, but not too much fun. Mm -hmm. Here goes the first batch. It's just frozen phyllo shells, a smidgen of seedless raspberry jam, and a little slice of brie, and in they go, and the dogs are going nuts. Five minutes, 3.50. Let's see how they look. Hey, we are back from the party. I flew out of here so fast. I did not have time to show you what I made and or what I was wearing to the party, this is um, that deep v-neck BP sweater that of course I got during the anniversary sale and of course they don't have it anymore. It's just um, like a Target tank top and the usual cut from the cloth jeans and then I don't even know if these, these were just on very deep discount so I don't know if these are still available but they're very comfy. Anyway, that is not the point. Here they are, there's Michael's hand, he still exists. I just got this at Target, it's this Pyrex um, carrying dish and it with this pack, this carrying case that comes with a heating pack or cooling pack and it's like four hours later, three hours later. It's still warm, babe, it's still warm. Anyway, here we go. Can't open this one yet. Yes, I can. Still a little bit left because we ran out of time at the appetizer house. There were 60 of these. These were a big hit. Oh, I was just going to ask if you can smell it, but I realized you cannot. So there they are, my little baby Brie raspberry jam with candy pecans. And I have to tell you, I'm not tooting my own horn, they were quite good. I carried them on this, um, or I plated them on this little disposable Party City platter in case I didn't have an opportunity to get this back. I wouldn't be dismayed if it didn't make it home, but it did, so I'm gonna wash that. Anyway, Michael and I might nibble on some of these. Uh, because it's a three day weekend, there's no school tomorrow, so we're gonna maybe start a new series on Netflix and nibble on some still warm little brie bites. I'm gonna call it a vlog, so thanks for hanging with me for another week, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.